Construction across Gates Park and Burns Park are both well underway. Now you may remember that the city came up with this plan to renovate the longtime park several years ago. That's right, and crews are moving right along on that process. KWWL's Lily Thierdahl joins us from Gates Park now. Lily, what do we need to know on this Tuesday morning? Ryan, Katie, well, Gates Park is one of two recreational parks undergoing some major renovations. Here at Gate Park behind me, you can see that a splash pad and an all-inclusive park is in the process of being built. And the city tells me the combined renovations will soon bring a whole new wave of entertainment to nearby residents. Both Gates and Burns Park have been known for their pools and small recreation areas for over 40 years. However, over time, the number of visitors began to decline at both locations. In an effort to accommodate a wider range of families, the city of Waterloo began mapping out potential renovations to both Gates and Burns Parks. And since then, major progress has been made. Crews have replaced the pools at Gates Park and turned it into a splash pad and an all-inclusive playground, which are both on schedule to open to the public this summer. Gates Park will also feature some more lengthy renovations like a skating rink, amphitheater, and irrigated soccer fields. Meanwhile, at Burns Park, this will be the last summer to swim at the old pool as crews will construct a whole new aquatic center. Leisure Services Director Paul Hutting says the city has received a significant amount of community support. From the community support, uh, it's obvious that it's an important project. From the Gaming Association, 6.5 million grant that was given uh, at the onset of this, we use that then to get uh, funds from many, many other private sources. Uh, and the state of Iowa put a million dollars into it. So obviously there's broad support. It's moving forward and we're just excited about it. The nearly $20 million, although they have received a tremendous amount of funding from the state as well as community partners, of course, for a full scope of the timeline. You can visit our website at kwl.com. Live in Waterloo, Lily Cedar News 7, KWL.